Hi friends, this is Bapa in Excel Friend. Welcome to a new video tutorial on Microsoft Excel. Today we will get introduced with pivot table. Just some brief idea about pivot table, not elaborate idea. So as we will try to make a video, so video tutorial series for pivot table, there we will describe all the points and as maximum as I can. So let's have an idea about pivot table. So this is a suppose this is a statement where salesman and uh, product sold, unit price, sales quantity, and total amount and reason where they sold, they sold the product. Suppose uh, this is the those are the basic item, and the price is fixed by the authority, but it is whether wherever it is sold, but the price will be price will remain same. Here it is uh, drop down. I have made the drop down of this list how to do how to create drop down we will try to describe them in our upcoming videos and now the issue is if you change any uh, any item see here if you change any item automatically unit price and the SS quantity is same uh, total amount is multiplied sales amount sales quantity is multiplied with the unit uh, unit sold so it has been changed see I mean change it Kagalong pant. See automatically change. How I made it? Actually, here I have used VLOOKA function, which we have already described you, and you know about VLOOKA function. Now you can do it based on this information from here. If you select any item, then we look by using VLOOKA function, you can pick automatically the unit price. Okay. Now this is not our issue. Today we will discuss about pivot table, how to create the statement within two or three clicks from any data. For pivot table, what is important that is there should not be any blank row or column, empty row or column, or and uh, any cell should not cannot be merged. Marcel is not allowed, and the, the searching criteria, the report you will create based on that criteria field should not be blank anymore. That means in pivot table data where from uh, you will pick the you will create the report, there should not be any uh, blank cell or row or column. Now, so let's start how to create a uh, pivot table. First of all, if you click anywhere inside the table, then going to inside, then you can select pivot table. Automatically, data range has been selected, but you can manually change it. See, oh, here, uh, 288 row, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking for this, actually, I'm looking till 287. Then, you can uh, select the table range, Just select, uh, I have already selected it. External data source, you can create pivot table from any other file as well. Now, the thing is, choose where you want to create the pivot table. It is in new worksheet or in existing worksheet. If you want to create any in existing worksheet, then what you, you have to do is select here and where you want to put this pivot table. Actually, here I'm looking for the new, new worksheet and I will create the pivot table in new worksheet. So I will click OK. Now see what happens. OK, new new sheet has been opened automatically and this is the pivot table option it has been pivot table view now those are the header which were in your data and see salesman dates sold item unit price sales quantity total amount reason those are the header of your data range see if i go here then you can see salesman date sold item sold item uh, unit price sales quantity total amount reason those are actually it came here now your point is how to create the based on which information you want to create the report if you are looking to create the report reason wise total cell now i can drag here then total amount now see this is the total cell statement which is created just within two click i made it chitagong total amount is chitagong total amount is this amount dhaka this amount Kulna this amount, Russia this amount, and grand total is. Suppose if you want, okay, product wise you will create, then uh, uh, you can drag them to column wise. This is the column wise in information. Now I'm just looking for the, okay, sold item. 
now item wise okay those are the item which item where how much is sold you can see the result from here now okay actually the report based on what type of report you want to create that is important here if you want to okay i will remove the reason okay i will uncheck from here and now you can see okay the total uh, date wise you want to sold item date wise sold item now i will make here date actually those are clubbed that's why i will ungroup it this is grouped that's why or you can create a group see if you click anywhere then group how to group group second minute hour date quarter yearly i will make it monthly i can make it monthly see in monthly statement it has been grouped automatically but i will ungroup it i'm looking for the date was this way now see those are the date and date was total product total total product sold denim long pant uh, this is the basic uh, basic trouser denim cargo pant short cargo shorts cargo shorts denim basic long one color polo t-shirt and this way all the things so see here one thing you can and this you can see that is if i click anywhere in the pivot table there actually i will i will remove the sold item hmm. if you if you click anywhere in the pivot table then this pivot table field and analyze and design tab are activated that means but if you click anywhere else see that two times and pivot table option gone out that means pivot table uh, this pivot table field analyze and design tab is related with pivot table now if i click here suppose this field is not there now if you click here those two tab are activated but this pivot table option pivot table field is not there pivot table field is not there so in that case what you can do just clicking on the right click on the pivot table then show field list now it has Okay. this way that means you can create a report how you want to see now you can uh, reason wise salesman wise suppose I will not uh, uh, not date wise salesman wise okay those are the salesman and how much they sold see this is the total amount and you can check it from their total this is the total amount it is matching yes it is matching that means anyway whatever your searching criteria what you have to think and what is the requirement of your boss what is the requirement of your team leader how he is asking to report create the report and you can re create the report from any table within two to three clicks okay so hope you understand the video until the next video your friend will say you goodbye but before, uh, if you think this video is benefited, uh, you, you are benefited with this video, then please share this with your friends and uh, the, your beloved person whom you want to see that they also learn this. Until the next video, your friend will say you goodbye.